those who protect their private parts. Yes, Allah has kept a desire in all of us. There is a base desire. You don't just fulfill it the way you want to fulfill it. Bottom line, as a believer, if you believe in Allah or you, you, you believe in revelation, you believe in the faith, Allah Almighty has instructed us to say, we know we created a desire within you. You need to fulfill it only through means that are permissible, through means that we have dictated. Well, what if I cannot do that all my life? Because maybe some people find it difficult to get married. Allah says, bear patience and for you is paradise. The patience of this world will always be something you will need to endure be it in marriage or be it in any other aspect of your life. But the successful are those who bear patience until the point that Allah has restored for them what they want or given them what they want or has caused them to return to him in a way that they will never need to bear patience again. Have you noticed or do you know there is no sabr in paradise? No one will ever tell you again, bear patience. <laughs> Whereas on earth, we hear it every so often. So, restraint is required to protect your private parts and to fulfill the desire that you may have, the base desire, in a permissible way when it is facilitated. Uh, up to that point, you should abstain, you should hold back. That is what Allah says. So, if there is no permissible way to fulfill your base desire, a true believer will bear patience even if it means up to the point of death. That is considered true success. We cannot just do as we wish, as we want, and think to ourselves, I'm okay to do this when we call ourselves believers.